Hey, I'm David Claire Bennett, and I'm a filmmaker who made a movie featuring an Academy Award nominated actor, bless his heart, and it bombed hard. So the movie in question is called Survivor's Choice. It's now streaming on Prime Video. It came out in 2023, and it stars myself, the amazing Dan Penna, Sarah Uten, and of course, the Academy Award nominated actor himself, Eric Roberts. Um, listen, say what you want about the film, but I think it's key to remember that it was so micro budget, I'm talking less than $2,000 budget, uh, very guerrilla style, and absolutely should have never been made, but it did get made, and you know, instead of crapping on it like everyone does, I think it's important to just look at the film for what it really is, and that's just a beginner's project, a first time filmmaker's movie and to look at it as more of a passion project of a group of people willing to come together and work together and unite to make something, you know, I'll still call beautiful. Even if, even if the public doesn't see it as such, I think it's just key to remember that, hey, we all work together, we butted heads a little bit, but ultimately, again, we came together, we united, and we made what we, what we thought we could make as the best film, considering our resources. So some of the biggest challenges that we had faced during production were lack of crew. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm really embarrassed to even admit this, but there's no shame in hiding it. I'd rather come out and tell you. Uh, our crew was our cast. Uh, so like basically what I'm trying to say is, so let's say I'm in a scene and Dan is in another scene, but if we come in, there's a future scene where one of those cast members or Sarah or whoever else was in the film was not involved on camera, they would be behind the camera checking stuff or checking audio, monitoring with the headphones or, or doing something or slating for us. And it was wild. We did try to get a crew. We did the best we could. We had some people willing to chime in and help out for free and we really do appreciate them. And I think, again, it just comes down to we tried to hit way too many birds with one or two stones and it failed. If you're an aspiring filmmaker, I would embrace the challenges that come with filmmaking and I would go ahead and embrace setbacks because you will experience them more than 25 times. I promise you that, especially if you're making a feature and people will always tell you to experiment with shorts before you jump into features. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> but uh, no, you know, it's true. But ultimately, hey, if you want to go ahead and be ambitious like I was, make a feature. But again, embrace the setbacks that will ultimately inevitably come. So ultimately, what did I learn from this? I learned a lot of things. I learned how not to do things, but ultimately, I learned how to cope with things. The negative feedback that was constantly left the amount of people who despised my vision that I was so passionate about over the years, that's okay. I mean, it really hurt me, you know, and, and it really hurt a lot of us, I'm sure, because everybody poured their heart and soul into this project on screen and off. And ultimately, I learned a lot, but the biggest takeaway from this is that no matter how hard you work, some things may not pay off financially, but they do pay off emotionally. I am somebody who can now live with what I went through and now I can tell my story and how it brought me to finding gratitude because I'm so grateful to be alive. I'm grateful that I had the experiences in which I had and ultimately in the end, I'm grateful to be able to help others. I'm David Claire Bennett and that's my story of how I found gratitude in a movie that bombed so hard.